G3's Angler V series is their deep V, durable and dependable line of boats that are built to take whatever you can throw at it. That and they're filled with fishing features. The lineup features 13 models ranging from over 16 feet to over 18 like the model we're in today. So in this power profile, we're gonna take a look at the Angler V 185 SF. The folks at G3 headquarters in Lebanon, Missouri must have their ears to the pavement because the Angler V 185 SF fits every need a Canadian might have. It starts with that 96 inch beam, a great size platform to work with. Then you surround that beam with exceptionally high freeboards to provide safety and a nice dry ride. That means inside you can pack the boat with whatever fishing features you need. I like to start with the casting decks on fishing boats. The 185 SF has a good one with the sporty flip up jump seats built in. These are sturdy and durable and really quite handy. Centering these is hinge access to the build should you need to perform any maintenance. Naturally, there is a seat base where you can put in the optional bike seat or the high back fishing seats. There are even creature comforts like these nifty cup holders. The gunnels provide more than just stability. Top loading storage can hold gear on the starboard side and to the port there is storage for six seven foot rods. Rod storage continues in the walkthrough where there is room for six more rods because tournament anglers can never have too many rod combos. I like this boat because even with the four seats in place, there's still plenty of leg room and you're able to move around. It feels much bigger than its 18 foot five length would lead you to believe. The helm on the 185 is cool and casual with a full gauge package, rocker switches and tilt steering. The bow deck is extremely spacious, enough for two anglers. To the right of the seat base is locking storage. And to the left is a 15 gallon lighted live well. But a big feature on this boat is the all new Yamaha F200 that's sitting on the transom. And that's a feature you need to see in action. Something I've always admired about G3 is how much research and design they put into their hulls. They wanna give you a boat that's gonna ride as well as this boat fishes. And when you put on the F200, you now have a package, whether you're a casual angler, a weekend warrior, or you just want a durable aluminum boat for the cottage. The 185, can fit any of those roles. The 185 sports G3's GX2 hull that gives you double 100 gauge aluminum plating on the bow and bottom. This not only provides durability, but just an overall stable ride with little flex, something I've come to expect from G3. This hull easily handled the new F200, which is the max horsepower rating. This new four stroke from Yamaha provides big power in a small package. It's a 2.8 liter block with a sophisticated valve train design. And since it's a Yamaha, you know it's been tested over and over again. The classic two stroke versus four stroke debate, something that typically two strokes had was lightweight and power. But this new F200 is only slightly heavier than the VZ200, the old two stroke. And power, well, you put the throttle down you get nothing but power. Power comes in the form of variable camshaft timing that launched this package on the plane in three seconds. At 487 pounds dry, you'd find it hard to believe it's a four stroke. That is, until you see your fuel bill at the end of the summer. You know, when you're building something, it all starts with the foundation. And on the 185 SF, it's the 96 inch beam. This gives you the platform to load with all the features that we've seen today. So whether it's skiing, fishing, or a little bit of both, the Angler V 185 SF can handle it all.